everybody, how are you? It's nice to see you and do some time at confirmation together. Now, I'm gonna try super hard to keep this video at five minutes or less. So I'm probably gonna do two videos. Five minutes or less is my goal. We'll see if I can do it, okay? So today we're gonna to talk a bit more to finish out our discussion on the creeds. And we've been talking and studying the Apostles' Creed, which begins with a discussion of God the Father, God the Son and Jesus, and God the Holy Spirit. So we're going to dive a bit more into the God, the Holy Spirit one, because there's a lot of the mystery of God in that. And so it's okay if we don't figure it out perfectly. I want to leave room for the divine. How are we ever going to understand God? Probably never, right? Um, but we try. And God helps us in that by giving us some symbols. You might remember when Jesus was baptized that a dove came and landed on Jesus. And that was a symbol of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit descending on Jesus in the shape and form of a dove. So you might see doves sometimes um, on banners at church or on the pyramids. That's like the tablecloth that goes on the altar. Or another way the Holy Spirit is often represented at church is through fire. So if you ever see flames of fire on a banner or on um, that pyramid, or you might hear about fire in a song, or you might hear about a dove in a song. Um, but fire is also symbolic of the Holy Spirit because after Jesus arose um, and Jesus' followers were gathered together and continuing to worship, um, the Holy Spirit came and there were tongues of fire on the heads um, of the people that were gathered there. And then they all started speaking in different languages and different tongues. So that's we talk about the flames of Pentecost. That was that moment. That was that empowering by the Holy Spirit. Okay. So a couple ways you can think of the Holy Spirit. Okay. But basically the Holy Spirit is a person of God. Okay. We think of them as three distinct persons. And I think that's really important. It's not just God in a different mood. It's three very separate persons of God. And we do struggle with analogies of how do we understand three persons, but yet one God, this Trinity. Sometimes you'll see it as a triangle. is another way of symbolically drawn. Um, the other way I've heard it spoken about, which I like, although it doesn't fit completely, is almost like an egg. Like if you think about an egg, there's the shell, there's the white, there's the yolk. Those are three very distinct parts of an egg, but yet it's all an egg. Now, none of those analogies are perfect. It's just a few things to kind of wet your whistle to try and think about what is this Holy Trinity, okay? Um, and I think the Holy Spirit as a person, one way to think about that, specifically to person, is the Holy Spirit is like your best friend. The Holy Spirit is like a counselor. You can tell the Holy Spirit anything, okay? Even the things you're embarrassed to say to anybody else, even the things that you think don't sound very Christian, even the things that you're like, I'm freaked out about this, I'm really super anxious about this, or I'm really mad about this, or really sad about this, or whatever. The Holy Spirit, the whole job of the Holy Spirit is to come alongside of you so that you know God. So thinking of the Holy Spirit as your bestie, as your very best friend, or as a counselor or like a therapist, I don't know if any of you have ever worked with counselors or therapists. I used to be one. But it's somebody that you come to and you talk to and you tell them your real stuff, okay? That's what the Holy Spirit, in terms of being a person of God, that's a really great example. The Holy Spirit is not a genie, okay? So it's not like you you rub a lamp and you say, Holy Spirit, go get me a candy bar because I would like a Snickers, okay? It's not about meeting your own needs. It's about you being empowered to do God's needs and to follow God's will, okay? So hopefully some of those aspects make sense to you in terms of God as person and God as your best friend or counselor, not a genie, you know, but the Holy Spirit can really have impact in your lives. True impact can change your lives. So remember that. Because impact is a great thing. Bye, everybody.